I'm Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel, Conscious Love. Today I want to teach you how to make another medicine. This time is um, it's a nutmeg and mace extract, and it's um, primarily it's numerous health benefits, but primarily for insomnia and sleep difficulties. This is one of the best natural remedies I have ever come across. Um, and as someone who used to be chronically up all night and sleeping in all day and then berating myself for this, um, I have found this has been one of the perfect remedies. Um, so I wanna to talk to you first about the journals, the, journals, the evidence base for this. Again, I came across this in Ayurvedic medicine. Um, it's also, you know, it even goes back to days of like in the UK, like um, when people talk about witchcraft and uh, folk medicine, and it goes all the way back. It's been always regarded, um, nutmeg has been always regarded as a really powerful medicine. So again, I verified this with the journals and we found that it, it's backed up. <laughs> um, so this is from a tree, I think it's called the Mysticophragans, Fragrans, I don't know how to pronounce these things, a tree, um, very long name tree. And it comes as two parts of the nutmeg inside a shell is then wrapped in what's called mace. Um, I actually don't have any raw mace, I've already got it in the glycerin, but this is what mace looks like. Now in the UK, I'd never seen this before, before coming here. Um, and it turns out using the two, I mean they grow together, they're meant to be consumed together. Um, so mace is, um, mace boosts serotonin and dopamine, um, it's got sedative qualities, it's calming on the nervous system. I'm sure your mind can come up with so many conditions that this would be so helpful for. Um, I mean, especially in a world where we have so many people with anxiety, um, sleep issues, with being in, unable to relax, unable to, to allow our muscles to relax. We're going to great extremes and expense just to be able to, to kick in our natural ability to relax nowadays. So if we can have a little bit of nature's medicine that can help us with that, that's completely legal and is not going to, um, you know, be too mind altering, then why not? Um, <laughs> so it's renowned anciently, it's, it's renowned as a dreaming herb that it can help you to access deeper realms of reality as you sleep. Um, I personally have found this to be true. Um, so, word of warning, you can overdose on this. Overconsumption is, um, is not recommended. Um, nausea, vomiting, hallucination. I did read that people have died from overdose of this. A little probing into this, I came across a, an article, a journal, that listed every single patient who was ever admitted to a hospital in the United States with overdose of nutmeg. It was very interesting to read through. A lot of these people are very stupid, is what I'm going to say, um, so I'm misguided. They were either intoxicated with alcohol um, heavily, then they tried to ingest nutmeg with the idea of getting high. Um, this landed them in hospital. Um, others, it was all poly substance abuse. There was not one single case of a person just taking too much nutmeg and winding up in hospital. Um, there was one, <laughs> there was okay, so there was one case, um, but she took a profound amount. I mean, really, she took, we're talking like, you know, you taking those spice jars, like the whole thing, which you just wouldn't do as a sensible human being, um, I would hope. <laughs> So, now that we've got that out of the way, don't overdose on this. I'm going to stress, um, it can cause, yeah, hallucinations. It can, it is a, do you know what? It's like um, a mild version of cannabis that's legal. That's kind of what I'm going to say, but without, cannabis has more downsides, I feel. Um, it, 
although a lot of people are pushing for its health benefits, I I remain on the fence on this. Um, I think we'll do another video about that. Um, but anyway, this is very powerful, so treat it with respect, use it carefully. Um, it's antibacterial, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory. Now, most chronic diseases today um, are caused by inflammation. So anything that combats that, anything that's an anti-inflammatory is absolutely going to help. Um, a lot of neurodegenerative diseases, they, so it was a, a mice study again. They've not gone as far as to, to do this in humans yet. Again, this could take 40, 50 years. So use your common sense um but in mice they induced um they gave them diazepam to induce a sort of brain fog and memory loss they then gave them nutmeg extract as like an antidote over time and not only did it reverse the the brain damage that the the other drug did um but it actually enhanced they had better performances than they had before any of the drugs. Um, so this is interesting. So it's chemoprotective properties, um, relieves pain, promotes digestion, improves brain health, um, detoxifies the body. Specifically, is really good for the liver. Um, it's actually has been shown to regenerate the liver. Um, treats insomnia, leukemia, that came up in this as well. Hormonal imbalance. It's good for skin care, regulates blood pressure. Um, said to remove bad breath as well. Dissolves kidney stones, maintains optimum brain health, reduces skin inflammation and irritation, reduces mood swings and depression, removes toxins from the liver, improves cognition, prevents heart problems, treats respiratory problems. This is just to name a few, and these are all verifiable. Again, go on Google Scholar, verify these for yourself, um, because it's it's mind blowing that something that's been in our kitchen cupboards for centuries <laughs> has such profound healing effects on the body if we actually know to take it and, and for what to take it for. So um, again, um, vegetable glycerin, the quality of which is very important, um, make sure it's organic, make sure it's pharmaceutical grade, make sure you try it and that it tastes sweet and it's got a yummy sort of warming flavor. If you taste or smell anything chemical, don't use it. Um, make sure you've got quality. So I'm gonna give you a quick recipe. You're gonna put your crushed nutmeg pieces, remove the shell, crush up the pieces. So you see, this is the nutmeg with the shell removed. Make sure nutmeg is renowned for going mouldy, so make sure there's no mould visible. Cut them all open, crush them, chuck them in. Now you want to be very specific about these doses, okay? So 12.5 grams of nutmeg added to 250 grams, weigh it, weigh the jar, of vegetable glycerin. And if you can find mace, use this as well, mace. Um, same again, 12.5 grams of mace to 250 grams of vegetable glycerin. You're going to leave those um, in a warm place, not hot, below 35 degrees, to infuse across six weeks. You're then going to strain them with coffee filters. You're then going to mix the two jars together. So in total, you will have 500 grams. It'll be slightly less because the nutmeg will use some. Don't chuck away your nutmeg and mace. Blend them up if you have a blender or crush them up. Use them in your bath. Profound skin healing qualities. Um, use them in your bath water. It'll feel a bit weird. It'll look a bit murky. Forget about that. It's about your skin um, and healing that. So. You then have this, I'm running out of time, you're going to take no more than a half mil. That's a tiny amount, okay? That's like not even, it's a fraction of a teaspoon, okay? Tiniest amount. If you feel like it didn't really do anything, go up to a mil. Do not take more than that, okay?